everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day today. So today I am super super excited because I'm going to be unlocking Darth Vader along with showing you the battlegrounds for this event. We have they're going to be up battling against um the dark side there, I guess you could say. So let's get started. I have some dialogue um between C3PO and Leia as you can see on your screen. And then, all right, so that is that. And now let's get into, looks like we're going to have some more. Oh, dear. I'm afraid I had no head soever for the particulars of installular combat, even as a spectator. It's all right, 3PO. I'll do my best to talk you through it. Just stay calm and... I beg your pardon. Did Master Luke just say he was a little cooked? What gross sweet... I don't know what that said. Anywho, let's um, send them to go battle. Oh, send Luke to make an attack run. All right, so I did have um, the pilot to also do this. So that was nice to have an extra person do that. Um, I also collected the parade float. I did have that from the original Star Wars event, I believe. Um, it has been helpful. I think I might have honestly got it during the Mandalorian event. But anywho, it doesn't make a difference. Um, super helpful. And there, oh, looks like they've already scrambled fighters. Not unexpected, but this is what where things get tricky. Tricky? What precisely do you mean by that? It means that we'll have to trust Luke, R2, and their wingmans to keep the ties busy while Gold Squadron makes their run. Gold, gold Squadron. Ah, yes. Those X-Wing bombers, correct? The ones tasked with firing on exhaust parts? Right. They'll pull through. If I remember right, one of their pilots is an Algerian, and we don't want to give up. So, by the maker, R2 and Master Luke have been hit. Eight minutes. All right. Princess Leia, forgive my candor, but I must speak to a member of Master Luke's Starship Maintenance. Oh, right. Of course. That's... Venus? I think so. Go find her if you'd like. All right. So we're going to send Leia to hold positions at the base. Well, I may be somewhat reassured as to the ground crew's competence, but I cannot say the same. I have never had quite so many imprecations directed at me. Whew. This is a lot of dialogue today, guys. Um... All right. Five minutes. Vader. Vader did this. He's here. All right, and we have an amazing video and shot of the fighting and stuff with all of them. The Millennium Falcon included. This was amazing. Three fighters left. No, two. Hang on, R2. Targeting computer malfunctioning. Why? Oh, it's blasted. Blasted to bits. Oh, I'll never be able to forgive myself for... Wait, you know, I know that yell. All right, so we're going to go send them to follow the battle it looks like all right we're gonna put luke in his x-wing pilot costume send him on that two hour so we had to do this a total of 10 times and chewbacca's was an hour everyone else's was two hours and the tie fighters i did not have him at the moment all right great shot kid that was one in a m m m all right, we're not going to attempt the Chewbacca noise. Alien. <laughs> One in a million. Oh, oh, oh dear. One minute. Curse this accurate malfunction prone file format. And simply memory file should not be this vexing. Woohoo, and they blew up the base. Super, super awesome. I say this is most unusual. Upon further analysis, this degre degradation and that last recording seem to be due to, well, I can only describe it as a memory file that has been weaponized somehow. It's certainly foreign to my system. Perhaps isolating it from the rest of my internal data and reviewing it more closely will yield some clue as to its origins welcome a dark lord welcome darth vader so that is the end of this video guys i hope you all enjoyed uh, thank you guys so so much for watching and i will see you all in the next one bye